It's happening! AMD stuff's happening! Oh my goodness! We also have a lot of in Intel stuff and then also Steam Deck stuff. Let's get into the hot news, everybody! I'm real tired and I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. I probably should have had more coffee, but I've got nothing left, as you can see. But I'm gonna do my best to deliver the news to you in a way that is nice and enjoyable. So sit back, strap on, and let's get into the tech news. Number one, talking about somebody who actually is probably in the know on AMD stuff, revealing that Ryzen 6000 may be launching this coming January if you're ready for a new class of products. Likely, if I had to guess, this would be the Vcash technology stuff that we're looking forward to. It could potentially be the APUs, the Zen 4 based on laptops, but something to look forward to regardless. One Usmus over on Twitter revealing that Ryzen 5000, Ryzen 6000 processors will be working on the Hydra 1.0D software that's being developed for overclocking so that you can do proprietary boost technology and a whole bunch of other stuff for the Ryzen processors to make sure that you can make them go faster, but just with the spoiler of number one, Ryzen 6000 processors hasn't been announced by AMD yet. And then also PS Ryzen family update at the end of January, which helps to confirm that. One Osmus is responsible for the DRAM calculator for Ryzen and the clock tuner for Ryzen. So his word on this is a little bit more than just a leaker that's out in the space. This is looking to be pretty authoritative as far as the timeline for AMD to release those CPUs. Are you excited for it? All right, we have a lot of conversation about graphics cards and the fact that people can't get their hands on them. It does seem like AMD has been rather in stock. Intel CPUs have been rather in stock. Are you itching for a CPU upgrade at this point? Or do you feel like AMD and Intel have already kind of reached the saturation of the performance that you need either for content creation or for gaming or for productivity? Is this something that excites you or is this something that just feels like another tech release? And who cares if AMD comes out with something that's 15% faster in gaming because you don't actually need it right now because you can't get your hands on a GPU. I want to hear from you down below in the comments. And you're going to hear about crypto stonks right now. Bitcoin down ever so slightly, 0.75% in the red, be at 62,937, just under $63,000. We are very close to Bitcoin hitting a nice number and we will say on that day, nice, because obviously that would be what happened. Ethereum up 2.38% right now to be very close to its all-time high, sitting at 46.39, having a relatively good day. Dogecoin having a relatively bad day, down to 27 cents. GameStop continuing its press forward to be at 5.48% increase on close to close at 218.33. If we look here, it's just been increasing ever since the middle of last week. Good job on GameStop. AMC also closing up 5.16%, continuing a similar trajectory as far as the meme stonks are going. And what's not a meme is the electric vehicle revolution, which is why I like to bring EV news here to hot news because there's just a bunch coming out. And I like to stay up to date on it, especially with the technology. I actually almost test drove an ID4 this past week, but decided against it. VW now announcing its ID5 brother to the ID4, looking here as a slight slightly larger SUV coming in the rear wheel drive package initially, and it's gonna be in the regular version or potentially even GTX. It's supposed to have 320 miles of range on the rear wheel drive version, and then we'll find out what the all wheel drive version is next year when they choose to give us that release. Ford also showing something off at SEMA, their crate motor that they're gonna be selling to people, which is from the Mustang Mach-E, and they showed off a Ford F100 concept vehicle that has this crate motor in it in case you want to just buy a crate motor from Ford, you can do so. You can see here the Illuminator electric crate motor right there it being in that F100. It's now available to the public for only $3,900 for whatever EV conversion that you might be wanting to do. Keep in mind that obviously that $2,900 is just for the motor. It's not gonna necessarily help you out with all of the other charging infrastructure that you're gonna need, the batteries and all of that kind of stuff. So this is a good first step for making it a lot easier, but the motor is just a small part of the entire EV landscape. And one GPU is just a small part of Intel's plans for their upcoming Z graphics cards. There's new PCI IDs indicating that Intel might have 32 unique devices for their upcoming DG2 GPU launches that we're expecting to happen in January on their mobile side of things, which might not seem like a lot. 32 is quite a bit, but it's six times as many IDs as there were for the current DG1. So Intel definitely looking to expand their mobile lineup to give you more options 
options when it comes to playing video games on your computer or using it for content creation. Well, we'll have to see how DG2 lines up against AMD's Ryzen 6000 APUs. And if you want to know more about AMD's upcoming APUs, we might get a little insight from Valve because they've announced that there's a Steam Deck APU deep dive coming on November 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern. They're going to be doing a live stream where they go over the custom AMD processor that's in there, which has a Zen 2 CPU and an RDNA 2 GPU, which is something that's very exciting for me personally, and I'm looking forward to seeing this. So mark your calendars for in about a week where Valve's going to go over all of those details. I guess you want more info on the Steam Deck before its launch sometime next month. And I'm going to launch myself into the stratosphere of not doing news right now, because that's all the tech news I have for you on this Thursday, November 4th. I'll see you for breakfast tomorrow, my friends, and you can check out yesterday's episode in the meantime. Cheerios. Thank you.